Hey guys, welcome back for a bonus cleaning video. I was not at all planning to film today. I have so much to do. It's a very, very busy day, but I thought, why not? I have about an hour and a half, so I grabbed my camera and I'm going to film a little clean with me, share some cleaning motivation with you guys in an extra video this week because you deserve it. I've been sharing so much more sponsored content on my channel than I typically do, and all sponsors that I love, oh Almost all of them returning sponsors and I've really enjoyed sharing the products with you and I know that you guys enjoy and appreciate it but it can get a bit overwhelming sometimes when it feels like every single video is sponsored. So I'm just giving you a relaxed, chill, hang out with me, let's clean our houses together type of video today. As a special little thank you for still supporting me through all of this, these kitchen renovations have really knocked us off our butt to be honest completely emptied our bank accounts and we still have so much more that we need to order and labor to pay for and things like that we were just not expecting a major plumbing leak to cause a full renovation in our kitchen right now so i just really appreciate all of you who have stuck through it with me and who are watching those videos and shopping with the sponsors supporting my channel it means so 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 much to me and I just wanted to say thank you so anyway like I said I have about an hour and a half before I have to run off to Kinsley's theater production they have two performances today and I am the scheduled backstage mom so that is going to be a very long afternoon and evening Derek has Sawyer at a birthday party right now so I have about an hour and a half of uninterrupted time and I'm going to try to get the house as cleaned up and picked up as possible so that it's not as chaotic as it is right now because it's a hot mess so anyway I have some things here on my bed that I need to hang up in the closet and just some random things that I need to do. So let's start cleaning. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to start by hanging my clothes up in my closet. These had been sitting here for at least a week. I don't know why, but actually I do think I know why. I procrastinate hanging my clothes more than anything else. It already takes me enough time to like actually fold them once they're done in the dryer. But hanging clothes, I'll let it sit there for like a whole week, sometimes two weeks before I finally put it on a hanger. I think it's because I hang like half of my laundry. So I'm not just hanging up like hoodies and outerwear, that sort of thing, but I also hang up all of my sweaters, sweatshirts, t-shirts even. I don't fold those and put them in our drawer because I don't really have room to put them in our dresser and also because I feel like I can see them better and they don't get as wrinkled when I hang them up in the closet which is kind of like working against itself when I have them all over the bed all over chairs all over the floor because I'm just not hanging them up so they get wrinkled anyway but anyway I don't know why I'm rambling about that I just thought it was funny a little odd quirk about me that I just can't seem to hang my laundry in a timely manner another thing I can't seem to do in a timely manner this year is put away my Christmas decor this gingerbread village has been on my dresser since the end of November in my defense we ran out of totes all of these pieces were new this year so I didn't have anywhere to store them and that's why they've been here but they're finally gonna go up in the attic how crazy is that dust layer just from moving those gingerbread houses it's wild how fast dust can build up on your furniture because I just wiped this down before I put those gingerbread houses up in December so it's been like what a month and a half and that's what it's looking like. So wild, so gross. Anyway, I have my Jaws hardwood cleaner here and I'm gonna use that to 
wipe down my dresser. I do think I have a 25% off coupon. This video is absolutely not sponsored, but if you're interested in the JAWS products, why not save 25%? It's not a commission link, just a discount code, so I'll put that in the description box if it is still active. I'm going to go ahead and add all of my discount links and codes down in the description box in case you see anything in today's video that you're interested in trying out for yourself or anything in my previous videos that you've been thinking about purchasing. If you're already going to make a purchase, then why not save yourself some money? Who doesn't like to save money? And since I am promoting those, I also wanted to take a second to talk to you about them. I feel like influencer links can be a very taboo subject and that's because of a lack of transparency and I don't like that. There's literally no reason to not talk about them. It's important for you to be an informed consumer and an informed viewer and it's part of our responsibility when we present those links to educate you about them. So anyway, there's a couple of different kinds of affiliate links that you can see in any influencer's social media pages, whether that's on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook pages, or here on YouTube. Now there are commission-based and non-commission-based affiliate links. All of the discount links that I'm going to be adding to my description box are not commission based meaning if you click on that link you save yourself money there is a discount for you as the consumer associated with it but there is no financial or monetary incentive for me to be sharing them or promoting them so i don't get a check cut to me a deposit made i don't get any kind of financial credit for that sale and so really you can just kind of think of it as a thank you to you for paying attention to the ads, supporting the brand partners, or uh, trusting us to recommend products for you. And it saves you money, but it doesn't really make us money. Or there are commission-based affiliate links. You'll also find those in my description box. Those are for things like Amazon, Target, specific stores or specific products. And when you click on those and make a purchase, then it does send a financial kickback to the influencer. Now that can be anywhere from like 1% to up to 10%. So for example, if you make a $20 purchase, it could kick back two cents to the influencer or up to two dollars but those links are so important even if it's just a two cent commission those pennies add up and they can literally help to pay a internet bill or buy a new tripod when one is broken and helps the influencer to continue to produce this kind of content and also support their families so if you want to support your favorite influencers definitely shop through their links Okay, so I just broke down our factor box. We got our delivery a couple of days ago, and I was just being super lazy. So I hadn't broken it down yet, but I thought I should probably bring it over here to ensure that it actually gets recycled and reused and just use it to pack and ship some of our Ray Dunn products. There's two totes here full of Ray Dunn, all of this, and then I think there's Starbucks tumblers in that tote, but we have been selling our entire Radon collection online to try to fund the kitchen renovations. Some of you have been amazing purchasing these items. I feel like I should say thank you face to face because it truly has been so helpful with being able to order materials and get things moving and not have it take like a full year to get our kitchen back in order, which is what we were looking at before. So Anyway, we have quite a bit of Ray Dunn left here from Valentine's Day that hasn't sold yet. So I'll leave the link down in the description box if you guys want to check out the listings. We will be adding more to it very, very soon. I'm going to have Derek go out in the shed and get all of our like spring and Easter collection, which if I remember correctly, it's at least five full totes of Ray Dunn pottery from the last few years. But Anyway, so we've been just like saving boxes like this, like our factor box, because they're a really great size for shipping canisters, and it's just a way to ensure that they actually do get recycled. I don't know, maybe I'm just a conspiracy theorist, but I feel like sometimes you put things in recycling and it's not even guaranteed that it's going to actually be recycled. But anyway, that reminded me that I have things to 
put away in the refrigerator, just a little mini haul. I kind of just shoved everything in there, but didn't get it into its proper organization. So let me show you what we ordered and then we'll do a quick little restock. It truly is such a small haul, but it's gotta be done and it's gonna be satisfying anyway. But let me just show you what we have. I'll start with my factor order for this week. This is the meal prep service that we've been using and loving just because it helps me to not skip meals and especially doing these DIY renovations it's been super helpful but you can see it's just like meal prep I don't want to pull it out of the full sleeve but you just put it in the microwave and it cooks in two minutes and they are delicious you would think that you like slaved in the kitchen for an hour making these so this week I chose the sweet corn jalapeno polenta and chicken and then what's this one the chili roasted chicken the honey butter diced chicken. I'm so excited to try that one. The blackened salmon for Derek. He loves blackened salmon, so just wanted to get that for him. The artichoke and chicken wild rice bowl. And then what's this one? Garlic butter, mahi mahi, and creamed kale. That one's also for Derek. He, that's like right up his alley, his favorite type of food to eat. I also wanted to try their cold pressed apple beet ginger juice. Fun fact about me, I love beets. They're like one of my favorite vegetables. So I thought that this would be delicious and right up my alley. And then also I grabbed the wellness cayenne cleanse shots. These are like tiny little juices with cayenne pepper in them, which is supposed to be, I think, really good for digestion and overall health. I also love cayenne pepper, so we'll see how those are. I'm going to have to take them out of this packaging and look at them. But anyway, that was our factor delivery. These were the meals, and then these two things are add-ons. I do think I have a discount code with them. I'm really not sure like how limited the code was time-wise if it was just for a week or if it's an evergreen so I'll check on that and leave the link down in the description box if I can again it's not sponsored I just really love it this is like our third box of factor and it's been a plus anyway also these pickle dilly bites we get these at Aldi and Kinsley loves them she loves pickles in general but she puts them on her sub sandwiches and sometimes I just pack like the little container in her lunch box so we had completely run out so I got some of those for her we have two dozen eggs hallelujah the price of eggs seems to be going down not anywhere near what we used to pay which was about 42 cents a dozen but these were only 3.48 at Aldi this week and lately they've been five dollars and over so we'll take that win and then also Sawyer requested these jellos for their lunch boxes this week so I picked some of those up and we got some juicy juice in the orange tangerine flavor also for the girls lunch boxes so we are going to get all of this restocked into this refrigerator it's not like quite as bare as it usually is when I do these restocks but we're missing something so we're gonna get them put away right now
Okay, seriously, is there any better feeling than having a completely clean dining, eating area, and kitchen? It is looking so nice in here, and yes, you guys are about to hear that's the floor. They will be fixing that when they lay the new flooring, but anyway, it's so nice in here, and let me show you the refrigerator. I'm sure you probably get really tired of hearing me say this every time I restock my fridge, but it's just so satisfying and so humbling after years of dealing with food insecurity in my early adult life. This never gets old. I'm just so grateful to have a fridge that looks like this. And if yours doesn't, please don't be discouraged. Everyone goes through hard times. You will get through it. And I am proof of that. It cannot last forever. But anyway, Fridge fully stocked, kitchen all clean. I'm just going to leave those dishes to dry on the dish mat. Let's be real. I never like actually wipe them off and put them away right away. So I forgot to put my beltway away earlier. This is almost completely gone right now. I have not skipped a single day since the new year and it has really been paying off for me. This, I can't wait. I have a video coming up soon where I'm going to tell you about it, but... This has been a game changer with getting control of my insulin resistant PCOS. I have no bloating anymore, no sugar cravings. It's insane. So this is the prebiotic fiber supplement. I've taken it on and off for the last three years, but I've been so consistent with it since January 1st. And like I said, it's really paying off for me. But when I reorder, I think I'm going to get the fiber and collagen supplement because I am experiencing some hair loss because of the insulin resistance. Anyway, this is the ugly corner of the kitchen. I just thought I'd keep it real and show it to you. This is a hot mess that I don't have time to deal with today, but it is on my to-do list sometime this week. All of this is just donations that need to be loaded into the car, taken out. We've got flooring samples. I had previously showed you guys this one. We had originally thought that this was going to be it. Like we picked this one sample in the store, loved it, brought it home, thought we loved it. And then the more I look at it, it just looks too dark. You can kind of see it in certain lighting. And let me turn down the brightness so that you can see it's actually way darker in the house than it was in the store and that's because we have very limited natural light. It also looks very orangey especially when you like put it next to other options so we don't think we're going to go with that one anymore. We got a few other samples. This one we've ruled out because we just feel like there's going to be way too much variation and we don't really want that but we're currently looking at these two and we have to make a decision this week so that we can purchase as much as we need and give it time to acclimate to the house temperatures. But we think we're leaning towards this one right now just because sometimes this one looks very gray toned and we don't want that. But then also sometimes this one looks very yellow toned and we don't want that either. But we kind of just we're having a lot of trouble because when I say we have limited natural light sources in this house, I truly mean it. And so everything looks substantially darker and warmer a lot of the times. But this one is called Brookside Oak. And this one is called Leaf Maple. So let me, don't, let me know down in the comments, which one would you choose, Brookside Oak? or leaf maple. Also, I completely decluttered and reorganized our laundry closet two weeks ago now, and I have been keeping up with it. I'm so proud of myself, still completely clear. Sometimes it does collect a few things like you saw earlier, but I'm pretty good about getting it cleared off within a day. Um, but I do need to, Kinsley has these new socks that I got her because I found them on clearance and they're so soft, I thought she would love them. So I just need to take these in her room, pair them up, and put them away. And then this is a return that I need to take to Target. I'm leaving it there so I don't forget on my errand day this week. I just need to exchange it, actually, not return it for Sawyer's gymnastics class. But let's take these into Kinsley's room, put them away, and make her bed for her.
For anyone who's curious, this is the book that Kinsley has been reading on her own lately, and then these are the books that she's been checking out from the library for the past few weeks. And then these flowers, Sawyer actually got her almost two weeks ago now, just because, because she saw them in the grocery store and thought they were pretty and wanted to get them for Kinsley to make her feel special. They've been staying pretty well, except these ones right here are kind of drooping. I should probably go ahead and pull these out so they don't bring the rest of them down with them. But how sweet is that? I seriously hope that their relationship stays this way for the rest of their lives. They just love each other so much and Sawyer is constantly doing things like that for her. But anyway, we're going to make this bed real quick. I don't have time to completely clean the entire room, but I did tidy up her dresser and I'm going to make her bed and we're going to say good enough is good enough today. Okay, so unfortunately I think that's all I have time to film today. I am crunch time, have to get to Kinsley's like performance location, but anyway, I'm going to grab a really quick lunch before I get going and I hope that this motivated all of you to get up and clean with me today, gave you the cleaning motivation you've been looking for, or just made you feel like you had a friend on this really busy day. If you're in a busy season, know that you are not alone. I'm going through it too, so we will go through it together. But if you did enjoy today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.